What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Daniel. I'm going to keep this video short. I'm going to get straight to the point. If you like the video, comment, and subscribe. The people in your life that get after it, that be on their grind, that be doing their shit, you're, you're probably not going to like them. And that's just the whole car facts. I'm going to tell you a story. I had this old dude that was in my weightlifting class in school. I'm a senior now. Last year, he was a senior, so he graduated. In the moment, I used to hate this man. He used to always be going hardcore every fucking day. Talking about doing the most, yelling, going hard, lifting heavy ass fucking weight, and trying to be that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Me, I was coming up. I was breaking records, all-time records. I was making PRs. Lifting heavy ass fucking weight for my body weight. You know what I'm saying? I used to not like him because he was grinding. I was grinding. But it was a lot of tension. You know, it was almost like a pissing contest. Who could be the best? He weighed a lot more than me and was lifting more weight. But he knew that I, my weight and my body weight, I was pumping iron. I was breaking records and doing great. So why do I say all this? I say all this to say I miss him. Because a lot of people in society, this is what you got to understand, are bitch-ass motherfuckers, bro. They don't go hard and shit. They don't, they're not on their purpose. So if you're lucky enough to find a motherfucker that is on their purpose, that's grinding, that's trying to better themselves, dog, you better, you better see past the fucking mask of going hardcore and focusing on yourself and understand that. That's the energy you need. No matter how you may feel, you have to understand. Some people may sound good. What they say may sound good. It may make you feel good and make you get butterflies. But what you need is that person that's going to be on your fucking ass every goddamn day to be a better man, a better woman. And that's just the facts, dog. And when I realized this, I realized I can't go back and, you know what I'm saying, patch that shit up over some petty stuff with that dude, bruh. Or listen to him, talk to him, maybe we could chop it up. Because he was going hardcore as fuck, bruh. Now, it's just me. He's gone. I'm going hardcore, and I have to hang around motherfuckers that don't have that mentality of fucking punishing their body to get wherever they want to go. Dog, it's like this in all sorts of places. It's like this in relationships. If you meet somebody that's a friend of yours that wants to see you succeed, that goes just as fucking hardcore as you and more, dog, I'm telling you, appreciate that. Because not many people out here really trying to better their life. So if you meet somebody that's really on their shit, understand, their job is not for you to like them. My job is not for y'all to like me. That's not my job. My job is for me to make myself a better person and to impact the world on my purpose. My job is not so that you like me. That's not my job. That friend you have that you can't fucking speak, that you despise, but he always seems to be doing good in life. He always seems to be grinding and on his purpose and getting better and making and making progress. But you don't fucking like his ass dog i'm telling you his job is not for them to make them like you that's not their job iron sharpens iron bro if you hang with pussies you're gonna be a pussy if you hang with hardcore people that are on their grind you're gonna be a hardcore person on their grind it's the same way when you're trying to become a better person if you want to become a more loving person don't hang around people that hate everybody Hang around people that love more. And understand that no matter who you hang with, they got to be on their fucking shit, bro. Like, I'm tired of seeing people hang with motherfuckers just not fucking living life like they're going to die one day. People that don't live life like they're going to die one day, to me, they take up the most space for no reason. You're not going to be here forever. Listen to me. You right, you right there are not going to be here forever. And if Seymour Tense has taught me one thing, it's that leveling up 
is necessary because you're not gonna be here. Every, you're not gonna be here one day, so you want to get as much shit done. You want to live the best life you can while you're here. Live every day to the fullest. That hardcore motherfucker you see that you may not like, that may get on your fucking nerves, bruh, but he's always winning. Maybe he's rich. Maybe he's always peaceful. Maybe he's always happy. Maybe he's improving himself. It's not their job for you to like them. That's what you gotta understand, dog. Their job is for them to like themselves. That's one of the hardest things you can ever do in life. Do you like yourself? I love myself, but do you like yourself? Because I love myself, I know that I don't have to convince you to love me. I know this because I love myself. You get what I'm trying to say here? If you met me and you didn't know me and you have your opinions about me, that's still not going to change how I feel about myself. Because I know I go hardcore. I know I live every day to the fullest. I know I'm constantly trying to improve. I know I'm not perfect. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not. I'm not a fucking bitch-ass nigga. I'm not the type of person that's going to sit on their ass all day and waste my life away. That's one thing you can say about me. That's one thing I respect to other people. People with a purpose. People with a passion. People that will grind. People that will do something every day over and over and over and over and over again that they love. Why? For the act of getting better at it. Not for money. Not for fame. Not for status. People that will work on a purpose and a passion for the act of just getting better. That's all they get. Those type of people, those hardcore motherfuckers that will grind and grind and grind are the people you need to be surrounding yourself with. These little people, these bitch boys out here, no offense, that make you happy, that please you, that say what you want to hear, what you want to hear probably ain't what you need to hear. That's what you got to understand. That's what people ain't going to tell you. What sound the best coming out of their mouth probably ain't what's going to feel the best when they act it out and when they listen to you. Man, I'm out, bro. That's all I got to say, bro. Last note, hang with people and surround yourself with people that are on their purpose. You might not like them that much, but give it a shot. Because I'm going to tell you like this, it is not their job to make you like them. They like themselves. I love myself. My job is not to make you like me. No matter how crazy that may sound, give it a shot, man. Don't hold petty grudges. Don't be a bitch. Understand that the people on their fucking purpose will help you 10 times fucking more than these bitch boys out here doing nothing with their life that make you feel good about your fucking self. I love y'all boys. I'm out, bro.